One of this election's hottest talking points has been around the topic of fracking. President-elect Joe Biden and other U.S. politicians have stated that there will be a ban on fracking on federal lands, which would heavily impact the oil and gas industry in places such as New Mexico. But what is fracking, and why has it become such a controversial topic? Fracking is a process that is used to extract oil and gas out of reservoirs with low porosity and permeability, aka tight rock. Often there's a misconception that fracking is a new technology, but it was actually invented in 1947 and commercialized by Halliburton in 1949. There have been millions of frack applications across the world since. So why is it just now becoming a focal point? Over the last decade, the United States has become a world leader in oil and gas production using the combination of drilling horizontal wells and fracking technology to extract oil and gas out of shale formations. While this boom in production has been extremely beneficial to American consumers, there are concerns around environmental risk, such as water contamination, methane emissions, and earthquakes that have been highlighted in a number of documentaries and public conversations. One of the main concerns is that fracking contaminates water tables and is poisoning our drinking water. To understand this more, let's dive into the process of fracking an oil well in the Permian Basin, which is located out in West Texas. First, a drilling rig is used to drill the well into the target formation, typically around 10,000 feet deep. Then a 90 degree turn is made and another 10,000 feet is drilled laterally through the producing formation. After the well is drilled, the casing, which is a steel pipe, is run into the well and cement is pumped down behind it. This provides multiple barriers between the well bore and the earth's formation so that there is no leaks or contaminations. Once the well is drilled, the fracking process then begins. A fleet of trucks with high pressure pumps known as a frack spread are brought out to the well. Explosives are then run down into the horizontal section of the well bore and used to perforate the oil producing zones. Chemicals, water, and sand are then pumped into the fissures to open them up so that oil and gas can flow through from the reservoir to the well bore. Now this is where the concern around water contamination comes into play. People are concerned that these chemicals and hydrocarbons leak into the water table and poison our freshwater supply. To understand why this is an improbable scenario, let's review the construction of a well bore in relation to the water table. The depth of the water table varies depending on geographical location, but it usually falls between zero and 1200 feet. For the purpose of this video, we'll just say that the water table is at around 500 feet. Now remember, the fracking process happens 10,000 feet under the surface. That's nearly two miles of the Earth's formation between the oil reservoir and the water table. Or to put it in perspective, that's 33 football fields. Going back to the top of the well bore, there are multiple barriers that stand in between the water table and the well. As we mentioned, when the well is drilled, the casing is run into the hole. Now you have three strings of casing, starting with a surface casing, which will be run into approximately 700 feet and then cemented into place. This protects the water table from any leaks or contamination during the drilling process. By the time the well is completed, you have up to two additional strings of casing called the intermediate and production casing. These add even more protection as hydrocarbons flow up through the production casing and now have multiple barriers between it and the water table, making a leak pretty improbable. Even though there is little risk to water contamination, there are other legitimate environmental concerns, such as methane leaks and seismic activity, that have to be balanced with the prosperity that has come with Americans having access to cheap and reliable energy. Natural gas has the potential to be a major key in the energy transition as it now accounts for 38% of electricity generation and has displaced dirtier fuel options such as coal. Access to an abundance of low-cost natural gas has been made possible by the fracking process. Make sure to check out our next video to learn about the technologies oil and gas companies are using to mitigate methane leaks and make the process of extracting hydrocarbons cleaner for the environment.